Hello, uh, it's Chris Wagner again. I wanted to say some things about forklift again. Um, this video, I just wanted to talk about uh, things that I've seen. Um, I, you know, like I said, January 2020 is when I got back into warehousing, then gave up security. I said, forget it, I'm gonna go back into warehouses. It's much more fun. It's a much more fulfilling job. And, you know, I've been doing forklift like almost four years now. Uh, yeah, actually about four years, because I have my old Riverside card and three years in a row, I have my uh, superior forklift uh, training card. And uh, the thing is that when it comes to forklift, it, it's something I enjoy. Uh, something that I've, I've watched videos, I've, I've sit there and I've trained myself, I've sat there and went over forklift, I've paid attention when people were showing me things. And um, when it comes to forklift, um, I take pride in it because I'm not dealing with, you know, you know things that I have that, that you know that I own that are like a business owner there are things that belong to other people so I have to be you know utmost care you know with these things and I've seen some guys you know I've seen guys that um, when I walk into a warehouse um, I try to be as nice as possible I don't try to be argumentative I don't talk back I don't say, I don't uh, try to you know say I'm gonna teach you something I just let them let them do what they are going to do you know, even if they're supervisors and managers, and they'll, and, and I mean, no kidding, I've had supervisors and managers knowing and seeing me doing what I do on a forklift, so they, oh, wow, he has experience, but yet they sit there and go, wait, let me, I'm going to teach you something, it's something that you never knew, like, I'm a beginner forklift, and it's like, okay, <laughs> you know, you go right ahead, I ain't going to argue with you, I ain't going to say anything back to you, go and do what you do, you know, so, you know, it's, it's their thing, that's fine, but, you know, in, you know, let's say in doing uh, that, they are showing me that, you know, hey, I'm going to show you how things are done, you know, but even though I'm looking around the warehouse going, what, <laughs> what is this? You know, this is, this is bad, you know. So, I mean, not to be mean to managers or, or, or supervisors or CEOs or, you know, anybody, it's just, you know, your titles don't impress me. What impresses me is if the warehouse is doing, being successful or doing the job that they're supposed to do without damaging things. Or if they're doing things in a way where, you know, hey, we're getting the job done. If you can do all that, then I will believe you. But if I'm looking around going, my God, what is this? You know, I actually had a pallet that was on top of another pallet, just pyramid stacking. The pallet was leaning so bad if somebody would have grabbed it from the front, that pallet would have came down. So I went and shrink wrapped it. I went and brought it down and shrink wrapped it, got to the shrink wrapping machine and, and, it, and it finally failed. But we kept it that long. So, you know, going from the section it was at to the shrink wrapping machine, it stayed until it finally gave away. And then we repalletized it, re-shrink wrapped it and we put it in the front. Now, there was two other pallets in that same section that were leaning. So if somebody pulls it away, it's gonna go falling down. I told a guy who's supposed to be one of the trainers in the company, hey, um, look at these pallets right here. Somebody grabs that, it's going to fall on them. So I thought maybe he would like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go tell somebody, you're right, I should take care of that. No, his attitude was, oh, you know what, somebody's going to have a bad day. <laughs> oh, that's your attitude? Wait a minute, you know, should not be your attitude. Your attitude should be like, hey, we're going to go take care of that because you know, the product can get damaged and we need to make sure that it's safe and all that. And when somebody handles it, we got to make sure it's safe so that way it doesn't get damaged. No, instead, he just kind of blew it off and said, well, somebody's going to have a bad day and didn't care. And that kind of bothered me, you know. So I'm like, well, that's his attitude towards what goes on in the warehouse. You know, that's all I need to know right there. And then I've been to warehouses where, like I said, they're damaged property and they just don't care. I've seen a kid who looked right at it, he knew he, he damaged the boxes, and he just looked at it and goes, mm, yeah, no big deal, and drove off. And I'm like, really? I'm like, you know, so I'm like, what? You know, I'm just like, okay, you know. You, you have to take pride in your work, you know. You have to make sure, you know, if is it stable? Is it going to hold? Is, is everything going to be all right, you know, if I leave it that way? Some boxes, you can stack them. I wouldn't personally stack some boxes that were open on top or that were open in the front, you know, that had like a slit and open opening. 
I wouldn't do it. I would stack them only too high because you stack them three high, you're you're really kind of you're really kind of pushing the envelope, and it can fall. I've seen a guy who wanted to show me this is how you do it. See, this is how you do it. The way you did it was not right. He had it um, where you push it, pick it up in the front, and the back of it was leaning, it was was touching the ground. So it was it was sitting on the ground. Well, here's the problem with that. Your pallet's like this, so it was leaning like this. That's how it was leaning. So the back of the pallet was going this way towards the floor, while this part was going towards the forklift. And then he was he was pushing it, or he was pushing it on the ground. Well, here's the problem with that. You pull away, there goes the forklifts, you know? I mean, there goes the pallets. Pallets go all over the floor. So it's because it's leaning, you know what I'm saying? And now, if you sat there, and let's say you push it, well, there goes the pallets all over the forklift. You see what I'm saying? But now, let's say, they're like this, you pick it up like this, and then you pick it up like that on the pallet, and it's only maybe that much off the ground, and you lock it into the pallet, and you got it. It's not going anywhere. Unless you turn too fast, unless you go too fast, that's the only way the pallets are gonna fall. So if, if the pallets are gonna fall, you drop them right down to the ground, they're stable. They cannot, cannot fall, cannot be damaged. But this guy had it like this, and then he went like this. And then he was either pushing it or pulling it. And the thing with that is, it's going to fall. So he's telling me, you can do it this way. I'm like, no, you can't do it that way. If you're telling me you're having pallets fall, and uh, let's say, you know, and let's say this, one of the things, I'm going to give you an example. Uh, yes, it was oil. And let's say, if he's saying this falls and it's hard to clean up, you know, well, then, yeah, because you're intentionally doing what you're doing is making the pallet fall. So... I picked it up, like I said, it, it was like this, and then I picked it up, and it was like this, it was straight. If it's leaning, it's going to fall. You have to make it straight. You have to pick it up on the pallet. So now it's on the pallet fully, you know, after you level it out, and then you can just travel with it. And like I said, it's only that much off the ground. It should be that much off the ground. It should not be that much off the ground or that much off the ground. It should not be. It only should be that much off the ground. And then, like I said, you can travel with it, and it's off, off the ground, and you know, there's no problems. But if you're picking up just one side, you got to remember it's leaning like this. So now there goes, the, there goes the pallet, you know? So, you know, I tried it his way. I, I tried to do it fast. This one warehouse, I, I did it, you know, you want me to go fast? Okay, I do it fast. So I stacked the pallets, it didn't work. And that in my mind, I said, yeah, I did that intentionally. That was my fault. I'm not blaming that on anybody else, but I showed, hey, look, it can't be done, you know? You know, the thing is, you know, you, you know what to do when you're a forklift driver. You're supposed to know what to do. Like I said, I had a manager um, in one video. I, I said I had a manager who, who would ask me, hey, you're on the floor. You're the forklift driver. You're stacking this. You know what, where, where it goes. You know how it's done. You know if it's leaning or if it's, if it's not leaning. You know how to pick it up and all that. You're the forklift driver. You're in the warehouse. I'm not going to go ask the office people what's going on in the warehouse. I'm going to ask you, the forklift driver, you know. If I was a supervisor, you know, of a warehouse, I'm going on that floor, sitting. On, I'm going on the forklift, I'm maybe driving around. I'm going to be checking everything. I'm not going to be sitting my butt in an office. There's no way. Because what's that going to tell me? i got to be in the floor. i would be checking things, making sure they're looked at, everything. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things can be stacked with no problem. But if you stack them, and let's say somebody comes up to get them and bangs, hits that pallet, there goes the pallet, you know? It only, like I said, it only takes, like I said in one video, it only takes like 10 to 15 seconds to bring the forks up, get them, get them to the pallet, grab the forklift, have them on the forks, and travel. It only takes 10 to 15 seconds. Any longer than that, you're just kind of like, you're not doing anything. You're just messing around. The problem is uh, with some of these warehouses, I mean, I, I've, the supervisors, they don't care. That's the problem. And the advice they're giving me, I'm looking at them going, okay, but... You're going to end up destroying product, you know. And sometimes I've seen a manager or a supervisor that don't even care about the, the, the property being damaged or the product being damaged. They don't care. They could care less. And I'm like, you're a supervisor? Wow, okay. And, I, and, and I've seen warehouses where trash is everywhere. I mean, literally everywhere. The whole outside of the warehouse or inside the warehouse trash is everywhere and I mean I'm just shocked at some of these warehouses and even how they move how do you even move around the warehouse when you just have stuff just 
all over the place. How do you even move? It doesn't make any sense. You're going to damage property because you have wall-to-wall, -wall basically, uh, product and pallets all over the place. So you shouldn't have that. You should be on that phone talking to somebody going, hey, we have this product here. It needs to go out. Or we have this product here. We need to put it in another place and just store it, have stored store it somewhere. But you shouldn't have wall-to-wall -wall, wall merchandise or pallets. You should not have. You should be able to move, have area, space, where forklifts can move around. And that's why I said titles really don't, they don't impress me. Because well, after what I've seen, I'm just like, I just have to shake my head. You know, I really do. And I'm not trying to offend, you know, people who work in offices. I'm not trying to offend the CEOs or the VPs or anything like that. Because I had a guy in Washington. Um, I know he was a CEO. He was telling me, yeah, I run, the, I run the warehouses. But when I looked at the company site, it was his name on it. So he was the CEO in Washington State. And I was going to work for him if we moved over there, uh, my wife and I. But, you know, eventually we will. I mean, I might contact him again. I don't know. But he agreed with me. He says, yeah. You may have a title, but if your warehouse is like just trashed or if you're destroying product, your title means nothing. It doesn't impress anybody because if I was a customer and I had a company and I'm, in, and I'm trusting you with my product and I walk into the warehouse and look around and go, oh my God, what is this? You know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even, I'd be like, you know, I don't think I'm going to trust you with my product anymore because how am I going to trust you when it looks like this? And then look at all this busted product you have. You know, you know. It, like I said, it's not very hard to, to drive up to a pallet. You drive up to the pallet, you, you level up the forks. This way, no, not a good idea. This way, perfect. You go into the pallet. This way, not a good idea because you're going to go into the into the product. You're going to you're going to puncture it. So it's got to be straight, straight, boom, pick it up and go. That's it. You know, it's always good to to pick it up and have it come towards you a little bit. It's always a good idea because you can control that product. You can control it with your forklift by it going like this or it going like this like way towards you you can't control the product it's gonna fall it's gonna I mean I've seen a guy thinking that he had control of the of the pallets the wood pallets they all came down on his forklift and he just bam 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 we me and the guy just looked at it we we're like you okay and he's like yeah I got this like, okay you know I mean but I mean thank God that cage was there or else he could have been seriously injured or killed and like I said, it's not very hard to drive a forklift. It's not very hard to level up the forks. It's not very hard to travel around. It's not. And you don't have to do it at top speed. You're doing it at top speed, you're, you're destroying product. So when somebody tells me they have fast pace, I'm like, uh, I, I don't trust you now. If you're telling me, you, oh, oh, this is a fast pace environment, we go really fast. In a small space like this of, of the warehouse with product everywhere, you're telling me that you have fast pace? Uh, you guys are definitely making mistakes. You're gonna destroy product. You're gonna you're gonna make mistakes. Trust me. I, I already see it. So I just know this from what I've seen and what I and, and I and I myself, like I told that CEO in Washington State, and he agreed with me. I'm getting tired of people destroying product. I'm getting tired of walking into warehouses just, you know, these these guys telling me that they're their higher ups and stuff and they're destroying product. Uh, you know, I get tired of it. It, it just it just gets ridiculous. You know. I mean, you know, treat the product like self-care, you know what I'm saying? Don't just not care and say, oh, I'm all that, but I'm destroying products sometimes or I'm, you know, putting the product in a dangerous situation because if those pallets fall some, sooner or later and somebody's standing there, you know, that's going to be really bad, you know what I'm saying? So maybe we can learn something just by studying, you know, how Fort Lips are done, studying how... how how pallets are done, studying the, you know, the ways a warehouse runs, all that, you know, study, make sure, you know, educate yourself as much as possible. That's the only way to be the best at what you're going to be, you know what I'm saying? But I just thought I'd share that with you, you know. I wish everybody the good luck in forklift. I wish all the companies the best, you know. That's all.